Hi, I'm here with Donald Skihan, celebrity chef, um, and you know, a very talented individual who's done quite a few things in his lifetime. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Donald. Welcome to Singapore. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. Yeah, and you know, just as I said, you know, you are a chef. I'm not. I see myself you know, more yeah. as a home cook, actually. A home so cook, yeah, because yeah. I, I don't work in a restaurant, but I've spent the last ten years writing recipes for other home cooks, and that's mm -hmm. really been this kind of success of the cookbooks and the TV shows is yep. the fact that the recipes are accessible. They're not, you know, you're not looking at a at a restaurant uh, kitchen. You're looking at what the home kitchen is doing. So mm -hmm. from that perspective, um, I, I always lean more towards kind of food writer and, and cook for sure. Right. <laughs> so you're kind of food writer. Um, you call yourself a home cook. You mm -hmm. had the TV shows. How did it all begin? How did it all begin, sorry? Um, for me, it's, so I grew up in a family of uh, food lovers and my parents used to work in the food business. So I always had food around me and my mother was a fantastic cook. So I, I kind of learned by osmosis, but I also kind of took a really big interest in it when I was around 12 and I was okay. teaching myself to cook through cookbooks and, you know, trying different things I would see on TV, things like that. At a time where kind of uh, food was becoming quite popular, you know, mm -hmm. and it was really kind of at its infancy in, in terms of popularity and taking off in terms of being accessible. So around that time, uh, I was kind of cooking quite a lot, but it wasn't until I started a food blog in 2007, mm -hmm. which was kind of around the time food blogs were just taking off. Yeah. And um, the book, or the blog won a, a an award um, in Ireland and it was like the best Irish food blog. So that kind of catapulted me into a little bit of press and stuff like that. And uh, that led me to write a cookbook. And from the cookbook, I went on to do um, quite a few TV shows. And right. so I've been on this treadmill of book TV show uh, for a very long time, and it's given me so many, so many incredible opportunities to travel the world and do like ridiculous shiny floor shows, you know, Junior Master Chef and uh, Food Network Star Kids in the US, mm -hmm. and you know, so those shows those shows are wonderful. But I also love the travel log stuff. So we've right. done travel all across Italy, in Vietnam, in Thailand. Um, quite a lot in Asia. We did a whole mm -hmm. Asian baking series, which actually brought me to Singapore before. So right. um, I love those sides of things because they're where I find, you know, the food is the most fun. You know, you get to eat sort of traditional recipes mm -hmm. and you get to eat like street food. I spent last night at the uh, old airport um, food market. So right, right. that was just fantastic. So I, I, those are the sort of dishes. And like I said, I, I'm not a chef, I'm a home cook. And so I love those sorts of kind of like the easy meals, you know, mm. and the, the more flavorful dishes where there's not fuss, there's no foams, there's no gels, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Great respect for the people who do that, but you know, for me, that's where my true passion lies, and I really okay. like sort of you know seeking out that sort of flavor from a more kind of uh, simple way. Right. So I mean, you began with more of the Irish UK fare, and then you know you kind of. Uh, changed your style a bit what how would you describe your style today um, I suppose it takes a lot of influences from um, from foreign cuisines but I think the one thread that runs through from the very start of when I wrote my first recipe on a food blog mm -hmm. to, to right now is that all the recipes are accessible all the recipes are designed to encourage people to cook I've been on a mission to help people <laughs> cook and get into the kitchen because you know I think a lot of times you know even if you've never cooked before I always say that if you take three of my recipes mm -hmm. and you challenge yourself to cook them you will come out of the kitchen with confidence you will come out of the kitchen with delicious food and invariably it will encourage you back into the kitchen with more so uh, try them watch the show and definitely <laughs> I feel like you you can have the confidence to do it oh yeah uh, okay so aside from cooking you've uh, performed you, you've sung yeah you've, you know you've done quite a few things but where's the true passion Right. Yeah, so it, interesting oh, enough, I, I suppose, so I, ha I was in a pop band when I was really yeah. young, and I think anyone who looks back at what they did when they were 18, 19, <laughs> I don't know how many of us would be very proud, um, but I actually, I mean, so I had this experience, which was just a whirlwind. I was in a boy band to start with, and we auditioned for one of, like, the biggest pop moguls at the time, uh, who subsequently went to jail and um, <laughs> defrauded all these boy band members, a guy called Lou, Lou Perlman, um, so we auditioned for him in the US, and we had this amazing opportunity, and then we were all sent home, because, and the, because he took one of our band members and sent the rest of us packing. Right. Um, and then I came home, set up a band with uh, with a friend of mine, and actually one of the guys who, who was in the previous band, uh, we set up this pop group, and we had great success. We had two Irish number one singles. Mm -hmm. We uh, recorded music videos, uh, uh, recorded lots of songs in uh, the same recording studio Michael Jackson had recorded right. in. We, sh we shot stuff in Sweden. Um, it, was, it was a real whirlwind of an experience. But right at the time that that was happening, I was also writing 
uh, the food blog and I was writing right. cookbooks. So it was a real fork in the road. Um, and I think what always happens in life is that your passion and your your true calling always kind of pushes you in the right direction. And that's why I think the band kind of came to an end and, and why I ended up kind of pursuing the food side of things right. much more. It was always what I was much better at. I was a terrible bloody singer. So, <laughs> so it was better that I stuck with the cooking for sure. <laughs> All right. So tell me a little bit about your new show. So it's on BBC Lifestyle? Yes, BBC right? Lifestyle it's on called, Star Hub. Yeah, it's called Donald's uh, Meals in Minutes. Mm -hmm. And what do you think is the true essence of a meal that can be put together in a couple of minutes? Well, you know, I think a lot of people are eating convenience foods, takeout right. foods yeah. now. And, and I think, you know, rather than steering away from that and writing, you know, s books on like slow cooking and all this, we've lent into it a little bit and kind of looked at how I cook as well at home now. And I have a, I have a 16 month old little son and a very hungry wife, which happens all the time. So <laughs> she gets hangry. So I have to deal with that on right. a daily basis. So uh, Meals and Minutes was kind of coming from that and, you know, coming from the fact that, you know, there is way ways to kind of utilize quite a lot of like these convenience foods in a way that you know still makes it uh, an authentic meal that feels like real food mm -hmm. you know uh, there's a great recipe I always mention and it's one of the most popular mm -hmm. in the book which is uh, garlic and rosemary chicken with gnocchi mm -hmm. where the gnocchi is store bought but the rest of the elements you are cooking in a pan you are doing the work it takes you 10 minutes to make and it's a fantastic meal in minutes and a great example of the sort of um, injection of flavor mm -hmm. you get from you know garlic and rosemary mm -hmm. simple ingredients but mashed on a board with a little bit of salt you're really eking out the flavor you're pan frying that chicken till it gets gold and you get all that gorgeous flavor and then you're adding cherry tomatoes to get a gorgeous sauce for your pasta to come through, through together so I, I think when you look at the dishes that you can you can utilize store-bought mm -hmm. sort of ingredients and right. and that's kind of the essence of what the meals and minutes uh, ethos is and when you look at sort of the other recipes in, in the book it is kind of taking inspiration from that and looking at what you can achieve in a very short amount of time but also kind of utilizing flavor like a, you know a Thai curry paste where right. you're using it to kind of you know you go to a, a market in Thailand and there's a little old lady who's bashing up about 25 ingredients uh -huh. you know that's kind of what you're buying in a, in a paste maybe not as good a quality as mm -hmm. that but you know I don't think people need to go out and buy 25 ingredients to make that that paste. They should buy it. They can bump it up with some lemons or some lime zest and, yeah. you know, the, a little bit of fresh chili and you will get something that's kind of the equivalent. And I think that's what it is about this book and the TV show is really to try and uh, reiterate that, you know, you don't have to go to, you know, the lengths of the earth to, uh, to create really kind of delicious dishes. And the success of it has been the fact that, you know, people are really cooking off the, the back of it. So yeah. I hope everyone tunes in and you will get some inspiration, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love the idea of, uh, you know, blending store-bought and freshly made. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, the truth is, if I was going to make homemade from scratch gnocchi, it's never going to take me minutes. Yeah. It would take me a couple of years, I'm pretty sure. Right. There's no way. There's no way I'm going to make it. <laughs> I have faith in you. I'm sure you'd be able for it. <laughs> no, the chicken maybe. But yeah, 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 yeah. But, all right. So, what's next for you now? So uh, it's a busy year this year. Yeah. Um, we have this the third series of Meals and Minutes, which is actually Superfood and Minutes. That's going to be filmed okay, in right. June, July, in back in Ireland. Um, and we have a cookbook, which I'm actually, uh, as we speak right now, I have an editor breathing down my neck saying mm. we need to get the corrections back. So um, that's that should be going to press very shortly, and that'll be out in September. Um, so I'll be doing quite a lot of promotion about that. Uh, we've two books coming out in the US um, so I'll be wow. doing a lot of promotion around that and then um, we have a YouTube channel which has like 800,000 subscribers so we've just filmed a whole new series of content for that right. uh, four new series one is Click Plate which is uh, decoding the internet's most famous recipes so okay. uh, chicken sandwiches uh, I want to do these Japan you know the Japanese souffle pancakes and yep. it's a it's a fun series because it allows me to play a little bit you know and, and uh, have fun with like there's a blooming onion I don't know if you've seen this oh, yeah. but uh, there's a really great dish in a fantastic restaurant called Nightshade in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. So we've tried to recreate that. I don't know if we've done a good job, but it looks pretty good and I can tell you it tastes good too. Uh, we have a weeknight pasta recipe uh, series because I have offended basically the nation of Italy by cooking one pot <laughs> pasta on my YouTube channel. And if you want to go, go and have a laugh, you can read the comment sections about how much they hate this recipe. But okay. people who've cooked it know that it works and I promise you, it's. Uh, you've said you had a problem with gnocchi, yeah. you could definitely make this. It's all the ingredients go in one pan and you're sorted. <laughs> Definitely give it a look. Good, good, good. So, uh, so yeah, it's it's going to be a busy year, and hopefully, um, this this series goes really well on BBC Lifestyle on um, on Star Hub, and I, hopefully, I'll get invited back and I come to come <laughs> to Singapore and eat more food. <laughs> right. So this is your second time in Singapore. Second time in Singapore. Yeah. So I'm I'm born bred Singaporean. I love Singaporean food, and the hawker culture. Yeah. is One of the things that I hope never dies. It's fantastic. 
what, what are you really looking forward to? You know, just the last bit and last dish before yeah, you go off. What, I don't know. What's I mean, your favorite? We've so just far? gone through. Uh, well, so I was at the uh, food market last night, and then we're going to the East Coast Lagoon tonight. Right, right. Um, so I'm really looking forward to trying the chili crab. I'm really looking forward to trying the sambal stingray. Um, one of my favorites. Oh yeah, is it good? Oh, it's, I've never had stingray. Fair. Oh, sambal stingray is one of the best okay. foods you can is put it on meaty? a plate. I can't imagine. Oh yes, it is. Yes, it is. Wow. Okay. And like, try it. give it a try. Like gelatinous, I'm thinking, or is it like? No, it's it's fibrous. Fibrous. It's okay. Fibrous. It's nice. It's. Uh, it's interesting. Interesting. It's interesting. I'm, I'm excited to try it. And you can one. eat the bones. You can eat the bones. Okay, you can eat okay. The bones, yeah. So you don't um, have to worry about anything. Yeah. Fantastic. So that's definitely on the list. And um, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of spice. So um, we we've, we've had a lot of spice. I'm taking it easy today. I've been drinking <laughs> ginger, ginger tea in preparation for the 13 dishes we're going right. to eat tonight. <laughs> you know, I hope you have great fun and it's fantastic. Yeah, having thank you, you so much. And great luck. Yeah. Good luck on the show. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Tune in. I'm going to be expecting a full report about how for you cook. Sure. <laughs> Right. There's in Singapore. Uh, tune in for uh, Donald's Meals in Minutes yep. on BBC Lifestyle. And if you're in Singapore, it's uh, it's on Starhub as well. Yeah, tune in.